This week we're exploring three forms of backwards rolling, building each roll from the ground up. Our first roll is a basic backwards roll, practiced from a variety of entry positions. Next, we roll while protecting the face with the hand, again from a variety of entry positions. Finally, we roll into a flat position, which can be useful to halting momentum when rolling down an incline. Building the basic backwards roll from the ground up. In each iteration of this roll, we will learn how to roll by placing the legs over the same side shoulder and by placing the legs over the opposite side shoulder. Beginning from seated, roll backwards and rise into ehen, or transitional posture. Practice to lead with one leg over its opposite side shoulder and to lead with one leg over its same side shoulder. If you find that your leg overextends during some of the rolls in this lesson, correct the movement by pulling the thigh and ankle toward the body during the roll and tilting the hip toward the front of the body at the end of the roll. When rolling from seiza, shift the hips to one side to exit the posture, roll backwards over the shoulder, and rise into ihen. Practice to roll both over the opposite side shoulder from your exit and to roll over the same side shoulder as your exit. Practice from both low and high seiza positions. Continue to correct overreach in issues of balance as you train. When rolling from Hiza, whether high or low in the stance, shift the back foot toward the front foot, lower the seat to the ground, and roll backwards, rising into ihen with a neutral, advancing, or retreating intent. Practice to roll both over the shoulder on the opposite side from where you lower your weight, and to roll over the shoulder on the same side as where you lower your weight. If rolling over the same side as your exit, shift the hips to one side, for example, the right side, rotate the torso toward the left as you lower your back to the ground, and roll the legs over the right shoulder. From standing, our first method is to lower the weight from Shizen through Zagata no Kamae, or a crouching posture, and rise into Ihen. This is the same method as a backwards folding roll. Our second method is to roll from a position with one leg extended, as though walking backwards or rolling through a backwards breakfall. Practice to roll with the extended leg leading over both its opposite side shoulder and its same side shoulder. Rolling while protecting the face. To protect the face while rolling, reach the hand above the shoulder and below the cheek as the roll overturns. When rolling over the left shoulder, the right hand guards the face. When rolling over the right shoulder, the left hand guards the face. Practice to complete this roll on both sides of the body, from seated, from high and low seiza, from high and low hiza, from standing and entering through zagata, and from standing while retreating and entering the roll with an extended leg. Practice to be able to rise into a retreating, advancing, or neutral ihen after any of these rolls.
rolling backwards into a flat position. Also known as a flat roll, this roll travels over the upper arm and uses the toes sliding along the ground to pull the body into a flat position at the end of the roll. Relax the legs as the toes slide to gently receive the ground with the thighs. Practice to complete this roll on both sides of the body, from seated, from high and low seiza, from high and low hiza, from standing and entering through zagata, and from standing entering from retreating with an extended leg. At the end of the roll, your toes and forearms should be in contact with the ground in a manner that will allow you to roll, evade, or rise as necessary and with ease. Experiment also to use the roll to change location and direction.